The Proto-Greek language also known as Proto-Hellenic is the assumed last common ancestor of all known varieties of Greek, including Mycenaean Greek, the subsequent ancient Greek dialects i.e., Attic, Ionic, Aeolic, Doric, Ancient Macedonian and Arcado-Cypriot and, ultimately, Koine, Byzantine and Modern Greek. The unity of Proto-Greek would have ended as Hellenic migrants, who spoke the predecessor of the Mycenaean language, entered the Greek peninsula sometime in the Neolithic or the Bronze Age. Topic origins The evolution of Proto-Greek could be considered within the context of an early Paleo-Balkan sprachbund that makes it difficult to delineate exact boundaries between individual languages. The characteristically Greek representation of word initial laryngeals by prothetic vowels is shared, for one, by the Armenian language, which also seems to share some other phonological and morphological peculiarities of Greek. This has led some linguists to propose a hypothetically closer relationship between Greek and Armenian, although evidence remains scant. Proto Greek is mostly placed in the early Helotic period, early 3rd millennium BC, circa 3200 BC, towards the end of the Neolithic in southern Europe. Russell Gray and Quentin Atkinson in a 2003 paper using computational methods on Swadesh lists have arrived at a somewhat earlier estimate, around 5000 BC for Greco-Armenian split and the emergence of Greek and Armenian as a separate linguistic lineages around 4000 BC. Topic phonology Proto-Greek is reconstructed with the following phonemes. Proto-Greek changes The primary sound changes separating Proto-Greek from the Proto-Indo-European language include, devoicing of voiced aspirates. Merger of palatovelars and velars centumization. Merging of sequences of velar plus asterisk w into the labiovelars, with compensatory lengthening of the consonant in some cases. For example, pi asterisk h equos greater than pg asterisk ik os greater than Mycenaean iq o, ik os, attic hippos, aeolic ikos. Shortening of long vowels before a sonorant in the same syllable Osthoff's law, asterisk dius skyling, sky god greater than Attic Greek Zeus, Decius. Debuccalization of s, to, h, in intervocalic and prevocalic positions between two vowels, or if word initial and followed by a vowel. Palatalization of consonants followed by y, producing various affricate consonants still represented as a separate sound in Mycenaean and geminated palatal consonants, they later simplified, mostly losing their palatal character. Dissimilation of aspirates Grassmann's law, possibly post-Mycenaean. Vocalization of laryngeals between consonants and initially before consonants to e, a, o, from asterisk h, asterisk h, asterisk h respectively unlike all other Indo-European languages. Other unique changes involving laryngeals, see below. Strengthening of word initial y to die greater than dz note that high greater than vy regularly due to vocalization of laryngeals. Loss of final stop consonants. Final per meter, greater than, n. Raising of, o, to, u, between a resonant and a labial Cowgill's law, loss of prevocalic asterisk s was not completed entirely, evidenced by ss tilde hs pig from pi asterisk su, daisies dense and dasos dense growth, forest, asterisk som with is another example, contaminated with pi asterisk com Latin cum, preserved in Greek chi, kata, koinos to Mycenaean ku su, ksun, Homeric, old attic kasin, later sin, sailas light in the sky, as in the aurora and selene, sel na, moon may be more examples of the same if it derived from pi asterisk swell to burn possibly related to helios sun ionic helios dissimilation of aspirates so called grassman's law caused an initial aspirated sound to lose its aspiration when a following aspirated consonant occurred in the same word it was a relatively late change in Proto-Greek history and must have occurred independently of the similar dissimilation of aspirates also known as Grassmann's law in Indo-Iranian, although it may represent a common aerial feature, it postdates the Greek-specific devoicing of voiced aspirates. It also postdates the change of s, greater than, h, as it affects, h, as well, echo, I have. I will have. It postdates even the loss of aspiration before j that accompanied second stage palatalization see below which postdates both of the previous changes as well as first stage palatalization on the other hand it predates the development of the first aorist passive marker the since the aspirate in that marker has no effect on preceding aspirates topic laryngeal changes greek is unique in reflecting the three different laryngeals with distinct vowels most Indo-European languages can be traced back to a dialectal variety of late Proto-Indo-European in which all three laryngeals had merged after coloring adjacent short e vowels, but Greek clearly cannot. 
For that reason, Greek is extremely important in reconstructing pi forms. Greek shows distinct reflexes of the laryngeals in various positions, most famously, between consonants, where original vocalic asterisk h, asterisk h, asterisk h are reflected as e, a, o, respectively the so-called triple reflex. All other Indo-European languages reflect the same vowel from all three laryngeals usually, a, but, i, or other vowels in Indo-Iranian, an initial laryngeal before a consonant a asterisk hc sequence leads to the same triple reflex, but most i.e. languages lost such laryngeals and a few reflect them initially before consonants. Greek vocalized them leading to what are misleadingly termed prothetic vowels, Greek erebos darkness darkness, Greek ant wind wind. The sequence asterisk crhc c topic consonant r resonant h topic laryngeal becomes crack crack crock from h asterisk h asterisk h asterisk h respectively. Other Indo-European languages again have the same reflex for all three laryngeals asterisk kirk in Proto-Germanic asterisk sirk kirk with acute accent in Proto-Balto-Slavic asterisk sirk kirk in Proto-Indo-Iranian asterisk crack in Proto-Italic and Proto-Celtic. Sometimes serik karik korik are found instead. Greek thanatos death versus Doric Greek thados mortal, both apparently reflecting asterisk dn, htos. It is sometimes suggested that the position of the accent was a factor in determining the outcome. The sequence asterisk cihc tends to become asterisk siak, asterisk siak, asterisk siak from h equals asterisk h, asterisk h, asterisk h respectively, with later palatalization see below. Sometimes, the outcome chick is found, as in most other Indo-European languages, or the outcome ciac in the case of asterisk cihc, all of the cases may stem from an early insertion of e, next to a laryngeal not adjacent to a vowel in the Indo-European dialect ancestral to Greek subsequently colored to e, a, o, by the particular laryngeal in question prior to the general merger of laryngeals. Asterisk chc greater than asterisk chec greater than cec, cac, coc. Asterisk hc greater than asterisk hec greater than ec per atto coulomb to per degree Celsius. Asterisk crhc greater than asterisk crehc greater than crack, crack, crock, or asterisk crhc greater than asterisk serhek greater than asterisk serak, serak, serak greater than serak, karak, korak by assimilation. Asterisk CIHC greater than asterisk CYEHC greater than SIAC, 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 or asterisk CIHC greater than asterisk CIHEC greater than asterisk CIHAC greater than asterisk CIAC greater than CIAC, or asterisk CIHC remains without vowel insertion greater than CHIC. A laryngeal adjacent to a vowel develops along the same lines as other Indo European languages. The sequence asterisk CRHV C Topic. Consonant, R Resonant, H Topic. Laryngeal, V Vowel passes through asterisk CR, HV, becoming CARV. The sequence asterisk CEHC becomes SEC, CAC, COCK. The sequence asterisk COHC becomes COCK. In the sequence asterisk chv including chr, c, with a vocalized resonant, the laryngeal colors a following short e, as expected, but it otherwise disappears entirely as in most other Indo-European languages but not Indo-Iranian whose laryngeal aspirates a previous stop and prevents the operation of Brugman's law. In a asterisk vhv sequence a laryngeal between vowels, including a vocalic resonant r, the laryngeal again colors any adjacent short e, but otherwise vanishes early on. That change appears to be uniform across the Indo-European languages and was probably the first environment in which laryngeals were lost. If the first V was asterisk I, asterisk U or a vocalic resonant, a consonantal copy was apparently inserted in place of the laryngeal, asterisk CIHV greater than asterisk CIYV, asterisk CUHV greater than asterisk CUWV, asterisk CRHV possibly greater than asterisk CRRV, with R always remaining as vocalic until the dissolution of vocalic resonance in the various daughter languages. Otherwise, a hiatus resulted, which was resolved in various ways in the daughter languages, typically by converting I, U and vocalic resonance, when it directly followed a vowel, back into a consonant and merging adjacent non-high vowels into a single long vowel.
Topic: <laughs> Palatalization. Proto-Greek underwent palatalization of consonants before asterisk y. This occurred in two separate stages. The first stage affected only dental consonants, while the second stage affected all consonants. The first palatalization turned dentals plus asterisk y into alveolar affricates. Alongside these changes, the inherited clusters asterisk ts, asterisk ds and asterisk ts all merged into asterisk ts. In the second palatalization, all consonants were affected. It took place following the resolution of syllabic laryngeals and sonorants. The following table, based on American linguist Andrew Zeiler, shows the developments. In post-Proto-Greek times, the resulting palatal consonants and clusters were resolved in varying ways. Most notably, asterisk n and asterisk r were resolved into plain sonorants plus a palatal on glide, which eventually turned the preceding vowel into a diphthong. In the time between the first and second palatalizations, new clusters asterisk tsy and asterisk dzy were formed by restoring a lost asterisk y after the newly formed asterisk ts and asterisk dz. This occurred only in morphologically transparent formations, by analogy with similar formations where asterisk y was preceded by other consonants. In formations that were morphologically opaque and not understood as such by speakers of the time, this restoration did not take place and asterisk ts and asterisk dz remained. Hence, depending on the type of formation, the pre-Greek sequences asterisk ty, asterisk ty and asterisk di have different outcomes in the later languages. In particular, medial asterisk ty becomes attic s in opaque formations, but tt in transparent formations. The outcome of PG medial asterisk TS in Homeric Greek is S after a long vowel, and vacillation between S and SS after a short vowel, tatsi dat. Place. Rug foot examples of initial asterisk TS, pi asterisk tig avoid greater than PG asterisk TS e.g. greater than Greek sabomai worship, be respectful ved, tiage flee pi asterisk d ye notice greater than PG asterisk sa greater than door, s ma, at, sima sign ved, dhy thought, contemplation examples of medial asterisk TS morphologically opaque forms, first palatalization only, preg asterisk totios as much greater than PG asterisk Tatsos greater than at, tosos, home, tosos, tosos, cf. Ved, tati, lot, tot, so much, many, pi asterisk made yos, middle, greater than pg asterisk metsos greater than at, mesos, home, mesos per meter asos, boo, meadows, other dial, mesos, cf. Ved, madya, lot, medius, examples of medial asterisk, morphologically transparent forms, first and second palatalization, pi asterisk hereht yo, I row, greater than pg asterisk areto greater than attic areto, usual non attic areso, cf, arates oarsman, pi asterisk crate yos greater than preg asterisk cratian, better, greater than pg asterisk craton greater than attic craton, usual non attic craton, cf, kratos, strong, topic other post proto Greek changes sound changes between Proto-Greek and all early dialects, including Mycenaean Greek, include, remaining syllabic resonants asterisk m, asterisk n, asterisk l, and asterisk r, are resolved to vowels or combinations of a vowel and consonantal resonant. It appears that the process still occurred within Proto-Greek, and resulted in an epithetic vowel of undetermined quality denoted here as asterisk. This vowel then usually developed into a but also o in some cases. Thus, asterisk m, asterisk n, greater than asterisk, but greater than asterisk m, asterisk n before a sonorant. Asterisk, appears as o in Mycenaean after a labial, pe mo, spermo, seed, versus usual sperma, ten, hecaton, one hundred, versus usual deca, hecaton. Asterisk l, asterisk r, greater than asterisk l, asterisk r, but asterisk l, asterisk r before sonorants and analogously. Asterisk, appears as O in Mycenaean Greek, Aeolic Greek and Cypro-Arcadian. Example, pi asterisk str, tos greater than usual stratus, Aeolic strotos army, post pi asterisk ker, da heart greater than attic cardia, Homeric crati, Pamphylian corsdia. Loss of s in consonant clusters, with compensatory lengthening of the preceding vowel attic, ionic, doric, or of the consonant aeolic, asterisk asmi, I am, greater than emi, imi or emi. 
Creation of secondary S from clusters, asterisk NTY greater than NS it was, in turn, followed by a change similar to the one described above, loss of the N with compensatory lengthening, asterisk apont ya greater than aponsa greater than apusa, absent, feminine. Conversion of labiovelars to velars next to, u, the, bocolos rule. In southern dialects including Mycenaean, but not Doric, t greater than c assimilation, the following changes are apparently post-Mycenaean, loss of, h, from original, s, except initially, e.g. Doric nakaz having conquered loss of, j, e.g. tres three loss of, with in many dialects later than loss of, h, and, j. Example, atos year from asterisk watos. Loss of labiovelars, which were converted mostly into labials, sometimes into dentals or velars next to u, as a result of an earlier sound change. See below for details. It had not yet happened in Mycenaean, as is shown by the fact that a separate letter q is used for such sounds. Contraction of adjacent vowels resulting from loss of h, and j, and, to a lesser extent, from loss of with, more in Attic Greek than elsewhere. Rise of a distinctive circumflex accent, resulting from contraction and certain other changes. Limitation of the accent to the last three syllables, with various further restrictions. Loss of n, before, s, incompletely in Cretan Greek, with compensatory lengthening of the preceding vowel. Raising of a to e, in Attic and Ionic dialects, but not Doric. In Ionic, the change was general, but in Attic it did not occur after i, e, or r. Note Attic cork girl loss of h, and with after a consonant was often accompanied by compensatory lengthening of a preceding vowel. The development of labiovelars varies from dialect to dialect. Due to the pi bocolos rule, labiovelars next to u had already been converted to plain velars, bocolos herdsman, cow, goat herd, goat, elicus, small, light. In Attic and some other dialects but not, for example, lesbian, labiovelars before some front vowels became dentals. In Attic, K and K became T and TH, respectively, before, E, and, I, while G became D before, E, but not, I. CF, Theno, I strike, kill. Slaughter, womb, life, alive, tis, who, all remaining labiovelars became labials, original KKG becoming PPHB respectively. That happened to all labiovelars in some dialects like lesbian, in other dialects, like Attic, it occurred to all labiovelars not converted into dentals. Many occurrences of dentals were later converted into labials by analogy with other forms, balos missile, balemnon spear, dart, dialectal dalemnon by analogy with balo I throw a missile, etc., bowl a blow with a missile. Original pi labiovelars had still remained as such even before consonants and so became labials also there. In many other centum languages such as Latin and most Germanic languages, the labiovelars lost their labialization before consonants, Greek pemptos fifth topic Morphology topic Noun As Mycenaean Greek shows, the pi dative suffix i, instrumental suffix phi, and locative suffix c cases are still distinct and are not yet syncretized into other cases. Nominative plural oi, i replaces late pi os, as. The superlative in tatus becomes productive. The peculiar oblique stem gunaic women, attested from the Thebes tablets is probably Proto-Greek. It appears, at least as gunai in Armenian as well. Topic pronoun The pronouns hutos, ekinos and autos are created. The use of ho, ha, ton as articles is post-Mycenaean. Topic verb and isogloss between Greek and Phrygian is the absence of r endings in the middle voice in Greek, apparently already lost in Proto-Greek. Proto-Greek inherited the augment, a prefix e, to verbal forms expressing past tense. That feature is shared only with Indo-Iranian and Phrygian and to some extent, Armenian, lending some support to a Greco-Aryan or inner pi proto-dialect. However, the augment down to the time of Homer remained optional and was probably little more than a free sentence particle, meaning previously in the proto-language, which may easily have been lost by most other branches. The first person middle verbal desonance is my, man replace i, a. The third singular ferre is an innovation by analogy, replacing the expected Doric asterisk ferreti, ionic asterisk ferresi from pi asterisk bereti. The future tense is created, including a future passive as well as an aorist passive. The suffix ka is attached to some perfects and aorists. Infinitives in ian, e and a i and men are created. Topic. Numerals 1. 
Asterisk M's tilde asterisk ends masculine, asterisk mia feminine greater than myc, e me, hemi, dative, at, ion, highs henos mia highs henos, mia. 2. Asterisk duo greater than myc, duo, duo, home. Dio duo, at, ion, dio duo. 3. Asterisk trays greater than myc, t re, trins, at, ion, trays trays, lesb. Trace trace, cret, trace trace. 4. Nominative asterisk k towards, genitive asterisk k eterin greater than myc. q e to r o we, k atro wes. 4 eared. at, taters taters, ion. taters taters, boo. peters peters, thes. piters piters, lesb. pisires pisures, dor. tators tators. 5. Asterisk penk e greater than at ion pente pente lesb thes pempe pempe six asterisk huix greater than at hey x door a wakes seven asterisk hept greater than at hepta hepta eight asterisk octo greater than at octo octo nine asterisk enna greater than at enia enia door n n 10. Asterisk day greater than at. Deka deka. 100. Asterisk hecton greater than at. Hecaton hecaton. Topic. See also. Proto language. Greeks. Ancient Macedonian language. Paleo Balkan languages. Pre Greek substrate. Proto Indo European language. Topic. References. Topic. Citations. Topic. Sources. Topic. Further reading. Beekes, Robert Stephen Paul, 1995. Comparative Indo-European Linguistics. Amsterdam, John Benjamins. ISBN 90-272-2150-2